What's up everyone? How you guys doing? Zombie Defense has just launched one of their updates and oh my god, if you guys can see what I see, bird's eye view, this entire map just looks amazing. Winter Wonderland indeed. And so pretty much I'm going to go ahead and go around the map so you guys have an understanding of what everything looks like. As you guys can tell, the trees are white and blue. We have some ice shards, we have some decorations, and in the middle we do have our Christmas tree with some presents as well. Some of the buildings over here as well are going to have some decorations. There's a little bit of tarps, blue tarps, and we got some decorations on the buildings as well. We have the Christmas shop, and something that you're not supposed to see yet, but here's a little teaser for you guys. There is going to be a special boss mission releasing later on in December, but that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and just explore a little bit more over here. As you guys can see, we have a little bit of ice right here on this building right here. And we're just going to go over here and just rejoin everyone that we were with early. And as you guys can see, there is a big giant picture on the floor. Who knows what it is. And right here we have Mr. Boom, Mr. Drago, Cartman, and of course me. Thank you once again guys for helping me out with this video. So as of right now, we're going to go ahead and just talk about some stuff that is going to be a little bit unique for you guys that already seen. There is a shop. And pretty much you guys can walk there and if you guys don't want to walk there just click on visit the shop and it'll automatically take you to the shop right here also as i wait for everyone else to pretty much join us over here we're going to go ahead and talk about like what happened in the shop so for you guys that don't know this pretty much the chests have um changed dramatically they do look a little bit more unique and from my personal view i think this is just a wonderful addition to it and I'm very hopeful that the others get here very quickly. And there's Mr. Cartman. And let's go ahead and just tell you guys another feature about this that I think is pretty cool as we wait for the others. Pretty much we have our little snowman right here. If you move around, pretty much he will follow you. You jump up, he will follow you, and he's shaking his hand right here as well. So now I think it's time for us all to get into the shop. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So as the last one, pretty much we did have a shop with Mr. Snowy. As soon as we get over there, we're going to know exactly who he is or who she is. You never know which one it is. But pretty much before we get there, we have to finish this obby right here. Pretty much we're going to go ahead and run through it. Hopefully no one dies. Oh, oh my god. I'm not going to lie. Prior to me doing this, yep, I kind of figured. Prior to me actually doing this, it took me about like 20 times. Let me go ahead and zoom in to make this a little bit more easier for myself. 20 times to actually do it. And just letting you guys know, if you do die, there is no checkpoint, so you spawn all the way back to the beginning. Just be very careful, because once you die here, you go all the way back. Oh my. Alright, so it looks like me and Small Drago are going to be in first place. Oh my. I think Cartman died, actually. Where is Cartman? I think Cartman did die. <laughs> Cartman did die. Run! Alright, so this is going to be one of the more difficult ones right here. This is pretty much the final part. But I kept on dying here. Fun fact, I didn't even know this was actually here, this little flame thing. But just be very cautious right here. Because this is pretty much the thing that makes or breaks the game. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah. Oh, the horrors. I do not want to spawn all the way back to spawn. Alright. And so we're going to get very close to Mr. Snowy very, very shortly. Let's see if we make it. Oh, oh my god. Yes! Okay, so we made it. So we're finally here. Obviously, we did lose a couple people along the way. But this is pretty much it. We have some little opened areas here, some icicles. We have this new lantern, which is actually going to be a part of the, the chest, which we will be able to purchase. As well as a little seeker right here. This little, this little turret right here is actually something we can get from Mr. Snowy. But let's go ahead and talk about everything that he has in the shop right now. You have five presents right here that you can purchase for the currency of 40 presents that you're going to be able to, to get in the game. And we'll show you how to get them in a bit. You have the snowman, the tree, you have the lanterns, which I did talk about a little bit. We have new Christmas lights, which personally I think are a little bit better than last year's. You have the Christmas chest, and in this chest, if I remember correctly, let me see if it tells me what's inside. Nope, I can't buy it. Oh, I'm stuck in first person, so I can't actually go anywhere. Uh, I'll reset real quickly, because I cannot, I cannot do anything. RIP! But once again, here are some prices if you guys are interested in purchasing stuff. And I'm still stuck here. Oh my. Oh my. Rip a Rooney for me. Let me try to figure out how I'm going to get out of this dilemma. Let me see if it's R. Perfect! I should have just pressed R. 
Well, going back to the shop. All right, so continuing off from where we were, pretty much go to Mr. Snowy, and it seems like Mr. Snowy, is, Mr. Snowy's on strike. Oh boy, Mr. Snowy, talk to me, please. Oh, Cartman, why? You, Cartman is 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 blowing some fire at Mr. Snowy, so Mr. Snowy doesn't want to talk to us anymore. God dang it, Cartman. All right, so as of right now, Cartman was using the flamethrower, as you guys saw. Cartman used the flamethrower to uh, to burn Mr. Snowy, and now Mr. Snowy looks a little, a little unsnowed to me. And due to that, unfortunately, I think Mr. Snowy is going on strike. But pretty much, for you guys that don't know as well, there are two other items in there that you can get, which is going to be your ruby chest, which I'm going to show right here. Which is going to be this one right here. You can pretty much purchase for presents as well as a Star Destroyer. And for you guys that don't know what a Star Destroyer is, we're going to go ahead and show it to you over here on the base. So now that we're back here on the plot, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the Star Destroyer. And this is pretty much the last item that you get in Mr. Snowy's shop. And for a lot of you guys that don't know this, this is probably one of the most overpowered turrets that I've seen thus far. Probably going to be ranking one of the top three, and if not, probably the number one turret in the game as of right now. The reason I'm saying number one is because I still don't know too much about it. I don't know if it has a special ability or, as you guys say, a glitch. But this is pretty much it right here, and we're going to go ahead and show you guys the stats of it. Its health is 1,200, damage is 23,000, which is pretty much incredible. And its fire rate is 0.3, which makes it almost overpowered. And for that range right there, 155 range, it's one of the most strongest in the game. Aside from that, you're also going to have your glaze turret. And I'm going to go ahead and drop one right here so you guys can kind of see it. Go ahead and move around. Pretty much, it kind of mimics like um, the ones in, kind of like in Star Wars, from my opinion. But continuing on with that, let's go ahead and just say... These are the stats, its health is 180, damage 310, fire rate 0.8, and range 110. And last but not least, the last cannon that we have, which is the ice cannon, which I think this one is also, from my understanding, one of the more powerful ones as well. As you guys can see right here, damage on the bottom, 2100, fire rate is 1.8, which isn't that effective like the Star Destroyer, but it's still good, and its range is a lot more bigger compared to the Star Destroyer, 230. And its health is only uh, 50, which is kind of the downside to it, but if you place this in a strategic location, it's definitely one of the more overpowered ones. And last but not least, our favorite little mine, because Mr. Cartman over here was actually probably responsible for this mine, so let's go ahead and surround him with mines. Pretty much this is gonna be the ice mine. Not exactly sure how it works, but this is exactly what Cartman loves, so I just want to go ahead and put it around him because he is the king of explosions. For you guys, look at that. For you guys that can see, my apologies about that. It's gonna do 4,000 damage. Exploding range is 40. So right now, let's go ahead and just take a little break and go ahead and show what these guys can do in action. So let's go ahead and play some on the field so you guys have an understanding of what they can do. All right, so right now we're gonna go ahead and give you guys a brief demonstration of what the Star Destroyers can do. And this is actually gonna be my first time seeing it too, so, whoa. As you guys can see, I think it shoots stars out, like two stars. Yeah, that's pretty pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. And its range is pretty pretty far as well. I'm gonna go ahead and collect this present. It's gonna be my first present I actually collect. Ta-da! Beautiful, too. I love it. But yeah, pretty much its range is pretty incredible, as you guys can see, and it's also pretty tanky as well. I know I can't go over these stats, because it's kind of... Okay, now I have the stats. Very tanky on its health, like I told you guys before. Um, and if you guys ever want to check these stats again, you just click on the alt key. Just know that on the alt key, for some reason, there's only certain spots where you can actually show it. So you have to put the alt key on the star. But once again, as you guys can see, pretty overpowered. Now let's go ahead and continue on with the next one. And I think we're going to use the cannon one now. Alright, so now we're on the ice cannons, and pretty much these have a lot longer range, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I think the range can also kind of be the same as the rocket turrets. I'm not gonna say 100%, but it seems like the range on it is exactly the same as the rocket turrets. But as you guys can see, it shoots like little balls of ice that have spikes on them, and it can pretty much reach the ends of the map. I'm gonna see if I could actually catch it, how far it can shoot. I think it actually does reach the end of the map. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, it definitely goes outside of the map. So if you have these guys placed in the middle, definitely overpowered. They are very weak, as I did tell you guys. They have 50 health, but if you place them in strategic locations, I think this will be one of the more overpowered turrets as well. Top three as well. Um, not 100% sure where I'd place it, though. It might be top five, but realistically, 
it does have long range and it does do optimal damage. So now, finally, let's go ahead and go to our last turret and then we'll go ahead and show you guys what the mines can do. And last but not least, we have our glazed turrets and these don't exactly have that much range. They have a little bit more health compared to our cannon ones, the ice cannons. But let's go ahead and see how these guys actually fare here. And so they don't do that much damage, but still they are pretty cool. Let's see what kind of rounds they have. It looks like there's just going to be a single blast. Has like a little ice ball at the end. It looks pretty cool. But yeah, once again, for these, if you guys uh, just want to try to get as many as you can, and I'm not 100% sure what the percentage is going to be, but you can get these with the new uh, Christmas chest. So there's that. Now let's go ahead and move on to our mines. Obviously, these are not the strongest, but let's go ahead and see what the mines can do. Alright, so last but not least, these are going to be our mines as well. I'm not exactly sure what to expect here, but let's go ahead and see what happens. Once again, these guys do do about 4,000 damage, and uh, their range is 40, so let's see. We're going to go ahead and see the first one right here. Go ahead and knock. Damn. Okay, so it did knock out two, so that is interesting, but unlike the other ones when we first did the test on the radioactive ones, it does look like they're just going to knock out just two instead of like a whole line, which is pretty, pretty nice. So yeah, that's pretty much it for our defensive items, and I think right now we're going to go ahead and compare the items that we currently have to uh, our older models and just see what you guys think and I'm just gonna go ahead and compare and contrast and then after that we're just gonna go ahead and show you guys all the decorations there is as well so let's go ahead and find out right now all right so let's talk about the decorations and of course Cartman's favorite the ice mine so you have the ice mine right there you have our little pillar that has a little blue flyer the Christmas tree of this year your lantern that we did see in mr. snowy shop you have our little snowflake which actually lights up two presents the snowman and our new Christmas lights and pretty much the ones that we are on top of are our favorite ones so these are the ones that we enjoy the most of course everyone's gonna have a different idea on which ones they like just depending on what they're more excited for and now let's go ahead and talk about something that I wasn't really aware of until they actually brought it up to me and it's gonna be the special mission I believe that's in the center of town if I remember correctly so let's go ahead and start heading over there. Last but not least, let's go ahead and talk about the special mission which we are all waiting for. And this is going to be the boss mission. For you guys that already realize or remember... Radio. <clears throat> Alright, so now for the boss mission, the special mission. And if for you guys that don't know, it's going to be in the middle of town. And pretty much just like the last event, we're going to have two pillars on each side. One indicating how many times we have to defeat the boss in order to get a glaze cannon and how many times we have to defeat the boss in order to get a killer. As you guys can see, pretty much it's going to be 5 times for us to get the glaze and 50 times for us to kill the boss in order to get a killer. And once we spawn in, I'll go ahead and show you guys the entire map, but I think you guys are going to be in for a good treat because I personally think it's an amazing map. Alright, so now we're loading up and just like I told you guys, it is going to be like a little village inside of uh, the castle. And this is pretty much it. You do have some beautiful colors up in the sky and you do have snow falling down. And I'm very hopeful that they're going to be placing the stuff down just because I don't exactly have much. And it looks like they are going to share inventory with me. So let me go ahead and just place some things down real quickly and then we'll go ahead and get started. But for right now, no, it looks like they're actually going to do it on their own. It's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys around the map. So each side is going to kind of be kind of similar to the other side. And you have these presents that spawn on the map as well. And these presents, you could collect them, and you, they do go towards your uh, present inventory count or your revenue count, if you want to call it that. And pretty much, once you collect one side, within 10 seconds, they pretty much respawn. So I'm not exactly sure if they're going to nuke this feature, because pretty much you could get pretty rich here real quickly. So I recommend, as soon as you start playing this game, collect as many as you can, because I'm not exactly sure if they're going to lower the spawn rate because they do spawn very quickly and realistically you can get a lot very quickly so as we go ahead and continue to collect the presents right here i'm gonna go ahead and try to give you guys like a, an idea of what the presents are um as in the quantity you get so if you see any yellow presents usually you get one present from that if you get green i'm gonna just make the assumption it's like last year you're gonna get anywhere from two to five presents Blue would be anywhere from around 8 presents to about 14 if I remember correctly. And last but not least, the very rare present, the red one. 
if it's the same as last year, you get anywhere from 50 to about 200 presents from the red. So just keep that in mind. I haven't seen any uh, red ones spawn here, like the wild ones, but they do drop when the boss dies, and I have not been able to collect it, unfortunately. But I will say this, I do believe that it does give you a lot because Cartman was the one that got it. He's the one that's currently probably placing all these right here. I'm assuming that's Cartman because he loves bombs. He got it and he said he got a hefty amount, so there's that. Also, you do have, I believe if I remember correctly, 150 seconds to pretty much prepare for these waves. And if you have some downtime, just picking up presents is definitely the great way to go. And so this is pretty much going to be our layout. We did play this once before, but unfortunately we did kill the boss without it even spotting in. So we're just going to go ahead and leave this out so we hopefully can show you guys what the boss looks like. As well as the other troops on the field as well. And we are about to start in 7 seconds, so let's go ahead and show you guys what we have right here. There's going to be two portals that spot in in about 1 second, and here they are. And here comes our zombies. So as you guys can see, they're starting to spawn in right now, but they're kind of getting instantly killed, so it's a little bit difficult to see them. So I decided to go ahead and pull up some information right here for you guys. So let's go ahead and zoom in a bit so you guys can kind of see this. Actually, let me go ahead and see. Can I zoom in all the way? I don't think I can. I'm just going to zoom in as much as I possibly can, trying to show you guys what they look like. So pretty much you have your regular, I, I know it says speed right here, but you have your regular Frost Invader zombies. Pretty much they only have, I believe it was 500 if I remember correctly. And the speed one has 1.5k health. The gold is going to be the same drop across the board, whether it's going to be the regular one, the speed, or the strong, it's going to be the same. Items dropped, damage, and the flag damage is going to be the exact same as well. Item drop is going to be 10% for every zombie, especially the ones that you kill on the regular uh, map. So if you're playing the new wave, old wave system, 10% if the turrets kill them. If a player kills them, it's a 90% drop. Just keep that in mind as well. For our strong frost invader zombie, it's going to be... Um, Pretty much a little bit more stronger 15k health and it's going to spawn from wave 5 to 10 just like the speed and the other one the regular invader zombie the frozen one is going to spawn from wave 0 to 10 so you're just going to see those around pretty much very very often and last but not least we're going to go ahead and see if we could actually capture the boss right now also right now i was talking to bomb right here and we're going to go ahead and just tell you guys what he told me so pretty much just to clarify on the drops for the presents the common ones, which are going to be the yellow ones, is going to be one present per drop. The uncommon, which is going to be the green, is going to be two to three presents. The rare, which is going to be the blue, is going to be three to ten presents. Our legendary ones, which is going to be pink, which we haven't seen yet, is going to be ten to thirty. And the godly, which is red, is going to be thirty to two hundred. So I was a little bit off, but pretty much that's what he pretty much told us. Thank you once again, Boom. Appreciate you for helping us out and letting us know those results. And now we are finally on wave 9, but let's go ahead and see if we're able to capture a picture of the boss. Hopefully he doesn't get into kill. And there he is. He did spawn in briefly. We got a little bit of a picture of him, and he did die, and I'm going to try to collect these presents. Oh, yes! And so pretty much when you complete it, you have to go to the center, pick it up, and pick up the present, and you pretty much get your presents. But I did was able to get the red one again, so I'm going to go return to the lobby. And I think that pretty much covered the entire update. So um, once we go ahead and spawn in to the server, I'll go ahead and talk a little bit more about what we do have for the update. Alright, so another brief description just before we go ahead and take off. So pretty much, once again, the map did change completely. We do have the winter season. There are some lights up in the sky and decorations in the center of town. We do have our turrets right here as well as our Christmas mine, which we're not going to go too much over because I know Carman has been going crazy about that. On top of that too, we do have all our Christmas decorations, which are going to be right here. And it's going to be a total, I think this is eight in total, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this should be. I think there might be something else. I'm not 100% sure. I did hear rumors that there might be something else later, but don't know yet. On top of that, we do have Mr. Snowy's shop where you could just buy those items in or buy the Christmas chest and pretty much that's where you can get all those items as well, some of the turrets as well. And last but not least, don't forget that you have your ruby chest in the Christmas shop as well as the Star Destroyer, which is going to be 30k, if I remember correctly. On top of that, we do have our um, shop that did get a little bit more decorations to it. The chest did change completely, different animations of course, and then once again you can click on the visit 
Nutritious Shops to do here. On top of that, let's not forget that we do also have the boss machine right here. And that pretty much covers it, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. If you guys have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments in the description. And once again, I'm going to go ahead with the link. If you guys want to play this game, it's going to be in my description. I'll leave the link there so you guys can go ahead and play it. Once again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And big shout out to the people that helped me make this video. And I'll see you guys next time.